Hello everyone, my name is Zach. I'm one of the TAs for, for Professor Baskaran, and I'm going to show you how to test uh, ANSYS to make sure you've downloaded the software correctly. Um, so as a quick note, I am using apps on demand, um, which is going to be slightly different from if you've downloaded ANSYS to a computer, um, but I'll show you how to do both ways. If you're doing apps on demand, you'll want to link a Google Drive account before doing this, watching this video, um, and I'll have, I'll have a previous video showing how to do that. Um, if you're on a regular computer or if you're streaming into another computer to test whether you've downloaded ANSYS correctly, you'll first want to open up ANSYS. So you'll want to go down here and type in Workbench um, and whatever the latest version is. So for me, it's Workbench 2020 R1. That's ANSYS, and so you'll want to open that. Um, now I have this already open in Amazon AppStream, and we'll go ahead and go from there. So um, with this open, you'll want to open up your downloaded files. So there's there's one file that you should download to test uh, both Fluent and Static Structural. Um, so you'll do File Open. Now, the location of this will be different. I have this set to my Google Drive folder. Um, again, if you're just checking your computer, it should be in your downloads file. Um, and you'll want to click on the ANSYS test file here. It should be in format WBPZ format. Just go ahead and open it. It's going to ask you to save uh, a WBPJ file. Uh, go ahead and click Save and then just give it a moment for it to open up. Okay, now that it's open up, you should see two um, projects here. Uh, we're gonna test Fluent, which is this uh, part A uh, project up here. Um, so first, go ahead and right click on Geometry and then click Edit Geometry and Space Claim. We're gonna check to make sure that Space Claim has downloaded correctly. And again, just give it a moment uh, for it to open up. Okay, once it's open up, we're just going to do we're just going to take a quick measurement, um, and if this works, then uh, this has downloaded correctly. So go ahead and click Measure here. It's one of these tabs. And click Measure, um, and then just click anywhere on here. So you can click the center. Um, it shows the area perimeter. You can click the bottom line to show the length. You can click the side lines. Either one doesn't doesn't really matter as long as you get a measurement um, for this object. Um, if that works, then Space Claim has downloaded correctly and you can now close out of it. You can either click this X up here or you can do File, Exit Space Claim. Okay, next we're going to right click on Mesh and then click Edit. Again, this will take a few moments to open up. Okay, now that this is opened up, uh, go ahead and click on Mesh. You should see this pop up. Um, and now we're just we're just going to check a few things. Number one, go ahead and expand out Mesh here. There's a plus sign to the left of Mesh. You should see four check marks. Okay, um, then you also want to expand Name Selections, uh, which is which should be the uh, menu just below Mesh. Um, and you should see five check marks next to each uh, named selection. Um, now, if you see check marks here and you see check marks up here, so there should be three check marks uh, and then four check marks and five check marks, then all is good. Uh, this works. Now you can go ahead and click out of it again by either clicking this X or you can do file and close meshing. All right, next we're going to go ahead and check the setup. Um, this is where we actually uh, use Fluent to solve for our solution. So go ahead and right click on setup and then click edit. This is OK, don't worry about it. Uh, click OK. Uh, and then click start. And the speed at which uh, ANSYS will open up these uh, programs uh, will differ from computer to computer, so don't worry if it's taking longer than uh, my computer. Go ahead and exit out of this. Okay, it's still loading in. 
There we are. So this is what you should see. Um, yep, so this is what you should see right here. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and solve it again to make sure that this works. So go ahead and double click on initialization over on the left hand side. Scroll down, click initialize. Then you click, double click on run calculation. And then click, uh, scroll down and click calculate. Now this is a pretty easy uh, or relatively simple simulation. So this should uh, only take a few moments for it to converge. Um, and this is what you should be seeing. Calculation complete. So this worked. Go ahead and click OK. And then we can exit out of this. So you can either click on the X or file. Oops, excuse me. File and close fluent. Now, uh, what we just did is really helpful because that means the setup and the solution um, tabs here both work. They use the same program, so if it works in setup, it's going to work in solution. Last, we're going to check results. So right click on results and click edit. Just let it open up. Okay, this is what you should see. Um, and we're just going to change one thing to make sure it works. So in this uh, kind of rectangle area here, scroll down so you see velocity vectors under user locations and plots. Go ahead and double click on it, and then this should open up. We're going to change the size of that symbol here. So go ahead and click on symbol, and then type in 0 0.3, and then click apply. Then these should change size uh, as we saw here. Um, and if this works, then Fluent works, and your ANSYS download um, for Fluent works. So congratulations. You can go ahead and exit out here. Um, and yeah, congratulations. Fluent works on this computer. There'll be a separate video for a static structural as well.